know you can't be out here going to gas stations this late at night by yourself, man. I know. That's why I have you. Thank you, Jalen. I appreciate you. Yeah, because you know Anthony would have had a fit if I would have let his wife be all out here by herself this time of night. This is true. Plus, there are some weirdos at the bar. So, thank you for following me. I appreciate you. I got you. Hey, but look, before you leave, what is wrong with your friend, Brittany? Um, oh, yeah, you must have heard. Aunt told me a of little bit about that. Did. She called me an Uber driver, Amber, in front of somebody. And not even in like the role playing way. She was dead serious. I didn't know that part. But I did check her today. And I told her she was dead wrong. Because she's a gold digger. That's your problem. You hanging around these weird old friends, man. What? You don't need to hang around people that can influence you like that. And Brittany's one of them girls. Okay, why do you say weirdo friends? Uh, who else is weird? Man, listen. I ain't saying no more names, man. All I'm saying is hanging around Brittany, being around her, and seeing how she treated me over something so superficial as the car I drive. Come on, man. You better than that. You better than that. Man. Okay, first of all, she's not influencing me, okay? Yeah. I, I had my own, thank you very much. Oh, uh, okay. So, okay. Whatever. So then, what am I supposed to do? Ah, uh, this might sound crazy. But I'm going to talk to her. I think you should give her another chance. What you going to talk to her for? Because she's wrong. I told her she was wrong. Coco definitely told her she was wrong. And I don't know, Taylor. Maybe she might see her. We all have flaws, right? At this point, I'm out of chances, man. Dalen, I'm out of chance. You have to understand. You do realize she already told me that the only reason why she was initially talking to me was to see if I could give her information about my friend over some stuff that I don't even know what she's talking about. Okay, but you have to understand that Brittany grew up with a silver spoon in her mouth, okay? So what, I'm supposed to make it a gold spoon? Uh, no, I'm not saying that, but you people, we all have flaws. She doesn't mean any harm, I promise you she doesn't. I promise you she doesn't. Do you like her? I mean, do you think she's attractive? Uh, yeah. yeah. So then just give it another chance. But looks ain't all. I need her personality to be there. I need to know if I get in a tight bond, she can be there. That we're a partner. Is that the no... only time you didn't like her personality? Right. I mean, she did. So you uh, like everything else about her? Yeah, but that was big. She embarrassed me. Okay. That's why I left her outside. You did what? Oh, he didn't tell you that part? No. She told me I was gonna make her late for work and I need to call her an Uber. So I called her an Uber pool and I drove off. <laughs> so I hope she made it to court. <laughs> She's gonna have a loss on her record today. You I'm hear sorry, me? Sorry, <laughs> that's not funny, but it is funny. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? I don't blame you. Brittany is a lot. She gets on my nerves sometimes too, but you know, that's my girl. I, I, she's got a good heart, Dana. Well, just do me a favor. What? Talk to her and let her know she was acting funny. I did. And tell her I ain't broke. Well, wait, maybe you wait. need to show her. You know I ain't broke, right? I mean, I don't... I don't know your pocket. I don't know. Got it. I don't know. I Got don't know. it. You can't stick up for your boy. Got it. Whatever, Dalen. I'm always sticking up for you. All right. All right. I got you. I hear what you're saying. Huh. Show her I got it. Show her you got it. Show her I got it. All right, Am. Yeah. You want to make sure she like you for who you are? Don't show her. I don't know. <laughs> and where that's going to get